This is PAX Unplugged 2019, and I'm here with... Samuel Bailey. And what game is this? This is Lawyer Up. So yeah, um, why don't you give me the, uh, the, the, the info about this game? Well, a quick overview is it is a two-player asymmetrical courtroom drama game where one person is the defense, one person is the prosecution, and you are drafting a case and then using the evidence and arguments to win over witnesses and sway the jury to your side. So the first stage of the game is the discovery stage, uh, and that is where you draft your, the, the case. So you will draw three cards, and then you will choose one to keep, uh, one to bury, and one to give to your opponent. So if I was the prosecution, I would want cards that have the red number, because uh, those are valuable to me. And then blue ones are valuable to the defense, why gray is, is good for both sides. So as a prosecution, I might like, oh, I'm going to keep this card. Um, I'm going to give you this one, because this is not your color, so that's not great for you. And I'm going to bury this one. And you go through the whole deck that way. And once you have drafted your deck, you shuffle it along with your procedures and your arguments, like basic lawyer stuff. And then you call the first witness. So when you call a witness, um, you face the number towards you. This is their, their kind of their influence. Um, and then that kind of starting. Here, this is kind of the bias. And this is what you use to form your arguments. So you have a, a hand of five cards. And when you play down a card, it has to match at least one of the previous symbols here. So when I play this, I'm kind of narrowing my argument down. So now only emotional and reputation arguments can be played uh, and evidence can be played in there. So now I couldn't play this card because it doesn't have the matching symbols. But if I play this first, now I have formed my argument down so that I can play that card. So once everyone's played out, you count up the influence that counts for you. So as a prosecution, only red numbers and gray numbers would count for me. The blue ones, I wouldn't count. So I would have four, five, six, seven, eight influence. Um, and let's say my opponent had, had five. The difference between that is what I can spend on the jurors to influence them. So they have a, a skepticism up here. This is how hard they are to, to sway. But I had, let's say I had three, and I was the prosecution, I could, you know, sway this guy over here for three, or, you know, I could sway this for two and, and this guy for one. Uh, as the prosecution, I can lock bias. So once I have locked a bias, it is very hard for the defense to sway it out from the lock. Because as the prosecution, as you know, I would have to, I have to win all 12 of the jurors to win the game. Like, all 12 of them have to be on the red side. The defense only needs one holdout. So to help me, I've got the, the, the lock symbol to make it more difficult uh, for the defense. Um, you also can object to people's arguments uh, by using objection token and it's discarded. Um, and you can, you can sidebar as your turn. Like rather than playing a card into the examination, you can sidebar to turn the judge to your favor and draw a card. So that's kind of a way to kind of, uh, you know, you know. So, you, so how many players is this game? Uh, it's always two player. Always two player? Yep, defense right. and prosecution. But there's multiple cases. So this is just the murder trial. Uh, you know, the, the defendant is a rich heiress who is found covered in blood over her father, uh, uh, the murder weapon nearby. And you have to, you know, get her off for, you know, prosecutor. But we also have um, a mafia trial so in each, in each trial has its own artist to kind of preserve the theme. In the Mafia trial, you can like off witnesses, you can like, you know, get rid of jurors, um, tamper with evidence and that sort of thing. And then we also have a, a witch trial uh, set in you know, the 1600s. Um, and in that, there is no jury. There's just a mob. And you sway the, uh, the bias directly onto the witnesses. And once they have five bias, they have been declared a witch and are, and are executed. So in that, in that, the prosecution's trying to execute three witches, and the defense is trying to run the prosecution out of cards before they can do that. Is this a 13 and higher age game? Um, I'd say uh, th with theme, with like, you know, murder and so on, uh, 13 or higher is good, but I think conceptually, uh, especially the simpler cases, you probably play eight and higher. Yeah. Okay. I play